Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel today. We are having a fascinating and thought-provoking topic to discuss. Recently, there, there has been a growing trend in Uganda with more and more men opting for DNA tests. And this has sparked a lot of conversations and debates. And today, we're going to explore this topic from a Christian worldview. Is it right to seek DNA tests? Are there any biblical principles that can guide us in this matter? To put this into perspective, uh, I have two fathers with me on set, and I'm going to be asking them a few questions just to give kickstart us on this, on this show. So, Mr. Muturi, um, I gather that you're a father of three, Yes. And uh, I want to ask you a quick question. Do you trust that those are your children? You're the father to these children. Well, thank you for having me on this show. I trust my woman. <laughs> Great. <laughs> so what, what's your take on the current debate? I think it's a very relevant conversation to have <clears throat> but uh, the background a question that most are, most people are missing is that it's a conversation around relationship uh, changing social relationship dynamics and also there's an aspect of trust that is what informs whether we should be having a DNA test or we should not be having a DNA test thank you let me turn to Mr. Odaina welcome thank you thank you so you're also a father of three. <laughs> and uh, in light of the current debate, um, would you consider doing a DNA test to establish the paternity of your children? Uh, that's a very interesting question. Uh, I think for me, it might be a little bit different from uh, many of the people around us, is my ethnicity allows me to a bit more easily verify if the children belong to me by the way they look, the, the, the tone of their skin. Um, but if there were ever any doubts, uh, I personally believe I would probably do it. So just in case there was ever any doubts. Thank you. So before we continue our discussion today, let's begin by defining what DNA is. DNA or um, this difficult term, deoxyribonucleic acid, you see I'm struggling to say it is a molecule that carries the genetic instructions used in the growth, development, and reproduction of all living organisms. It serves as a blueprint or code that determines our unique characteristics, traits, and even hereditary information passed down from our parents and our ancestors. In simpler terms, DNA is a complex set of instructions that make each of us who we are. It contains the genetic information that determines our physical features, such as our eye color, hair texture, and even aspects of our personality. This explains why parents and their children or siblings tend to have some common physical features and even personality traits. So the discovery of DNA structure and its role in genetics has revolutionized the fields of biology, medicine, and forensics. It has become a powerful tool for various purposes, including identifying biological relationships, such as parentage and ancestry, and understanding genetic predispositions to certain diseases. Now that we have a basic understanding of what DNA is, let's explore the implications and considerations surrounding DNA tests from a Christian worldview. When it comes to the question of DNA tests, we need to approach it with wisdom and discernment. The Bible provides us with timeless principles that we can apply to modern situations. One such principle is found in the book of Proverbs, chapter 14, verse 15. 
which says, the simple believes everything, but the prudent gives thought to his steps. This verse encourages us to exercise caution and think carefully before making decisions, including the decision to seek a DNA test. Relationships like the Marito one are built on mutual trust. Mr. Muturi alluded to that. Ideally, where there is mutual trust, there shouldn't arise any doubt or suspicions of infidelity. However, by the fact that we are having this discussion, even in Christian circles, is an indicator of the gaps in the social and spiritual construct of Christian relationships. Seeking a DNA test can be a way to verify paternity and establish truth, especially in cases where there may be doubts or questions. Another biblical principle we can consider is found in Matthew chapter 7, verse 12, commonly known as the golden rule. So whatever you wish that others would do to you, do also to them. Applying this principle to the topic of DNA tests, we can see the importance of honesty, integrity, and justice. In the raging discussion about DNA, I have heard women quote this golden rule, insinuating that men have been the main culprits of infidelity. The tones seem to insinuate that it is now payback time. If a man has doubts about his biological child, it is crucial to address those concerns with love, respect, and truthfulness. Seeking a DNA test can be a responsible and fair way to ensure that everyone involved knows the truth and can make informed decisions. However, it is essential to balance our pursuit of truth with biblical principles, such as forgiveness, grace, and the sanctity of marriage and family. The Bible emphasizes the value of reconciliation and restoration. In Matthew chapter 6, verse 14 to 15, Jesus teaches, For if you forgive others their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. This verse reminds us of the importance of forgiveness and extending grace to one another. While seeking a DNA test can provide clarity, it is crucial to consider the potential consequences. DNA test results have the power to impact relationships and families significantly. Therefore, it is crucial to approach this matter with sensitivity, empathy, and a desire for reconciliation rather than causing further division or pain. In conclusion, as Christians, we should approach the topic of DNA tests with wisdom, love, and biblical principles in mind. While seeking the truth and establishing paternity can be important, we must also consider the impact of our actions on relationships and overall well-being of our families. Balancing truth, forgiveness, and grace is key. As we navigate these complex situations, let's strive to honor God, maintain healthy relationships, and pursue reconciliation whenever possible. On a lighter note, think of Joseph and Mary in the Bible. Joseph believed and trusted the report of the Lord and not a DNA test. That's it for today's discussion. Thank you all for joining us. We would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. Remember, let's all always approach these discussions with respect and love for one another. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more thought-provoking content. Until next time, take care and God bless.